I understand you were part of the design process for the Integra total shoulder and reverse shoulder. Please tell me about that process. Uh, it was really quite interesting. Uh, some of the other uh, projects I've worked on, it was just been me and the engineers. Uh, in this case, it was more of a small group or, or committee. Uh, and so what uh, Integra did, it was a small group of uh, surgeons from the United States uh, and Australia uh, for the total shoulder. And then for the reverse, it was a, it was a team. Uh, I was fortunate to be part of both teams, but again, a, a couple surgeons from the United States, Australia, and France. And so it was really a unique concept. So everybody came into the meeting with what they liked about the previous shoulder prosthesis they used and what they didn't like. Then we all got together to try to put the advantages of all the different systems we liked uh, into, into this brand new Titan Integra shoulder and reverse shoulder. And the things we didn't like, we tried to remove. Uh, so there was a little infighting back and forth uh, within, the, within the committee, like in any committee. Uh, but I think it really ended up turning out a very fine, uh, up-to-date, modern uh, shoulder placement that wasn't on the market before uh, with lots of advantages. Uh, probably the, the biggest thing about this is the stem. Uh, you can see that here. And so what we can do is we have a, a single stem that goes down, and then you can take a separate body and attach it to that stem. So in this case, this is a reverse body. It can go on this, or a total shoulder body, which is this, this body goes onto the stem. So you can, particularly if you're doing a revision, you can leave the stem in, pop off the body, and then put a reverse body on. So it really helps simplify uh, the surgery. It helps uh, decrease bone loss if you're doing a revision. Uh, and I, I think the results have been very, very encouraging, and we're very proud of it.